Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be discussing about different techniques which we can apply using Langchain in retrieval. So what is retrieval? In the scenarios like RAG, where we know that all the data which LLMs are not aware will be embedded and stored in the vector database. So we can ask a query to the vector database or we can query a vector database and it returns all the similarity results like all the documents or all the text which are similar to our question it returns those results so what and all techniques we can apply while we retrieve the data from the database so that we don't miss out any kind of information which is embedded in our vector database so the retriever part is very crucial so we need to make sure that when we query the database the exact information or all the information related to our query should be returned so we can apply few techniques in Langchain and retrieve the correct response or the correct information from the database. So let's see that. So here I'm using budgetspeech.txt. This is an Indian budget speech document. And using the text loader class, I'm loading it. And the raw documents will have the budget speech. And now I'm using recursive character text splitter and splitting that budget speech document based on these characters and this size and overlap is zero and now this and i'm splitting those raw documents that's it and these documents will have all the in splitted information of the budget document if you see the document is splitted as per the configurations which we have given that's it and now here i'm we are using chroma and storing the splitted documents using the open ai embedding we are embedding those and storing it into the chroma so this db will you will act like a database so this DB will have all the embedded or the vectorized information of our documents, of our budget speech. And similarly, we can use FAISS as well. It works similar to Chroma. It's a low, it, it they both work like a low, local DB store. So the, I'm using the same and I'm storing that splitted document in both DBFS, DB FAISS as well as in DB, both. So now I can ask any question. So now I'm going to use this question throughout this video what are all the changes done to gst in the budget speech that is this is my question and now we can pass this query and find out the similarity results so we have to use db dot i mean because this is a database dot similarity search of query this is a query and when we do this it returns all the relevant information to our query that's it and similarly we have db dot similarity search by vector so we can directly pass the text query or a string query inside the similarity search and it internally embeds and returns the uh, text which is similar to our query or else we can even embed it externally and pass the vector as well so this embed vector will have that information so in this embed vector we are just embedding the query when i print this if you see see the, the, this is just embedded that's it we can do like similarity search by vector method and it will return the results so the results are almost same even above and below there is no much difference at all if you see it's almost the same here when we use similarity search or similarity search by vector we don't have much options to manipulate or to control the response which we get from the database or the vector database so to do that we have a method called db dot as retriever and with this retriever we can manipulate or we can control or we can add restrictions or we can add on some functionalities to this retriever and make sure we get the proper response so this retriever dot invoke query we can pass the query and we get all the similarity results same as above that's one option which we can do and we can add many more to this retriever as well which we are going to see above but a simple rag is explained here here i have just add i just have a template and in this context i'll just pass the retriever and question is what i want to ask to the database that's it so i have created a prompt with this template to create a prompt with this template we are just using chart prompt template dot from template of template that's it and this is a prompt and i have a model chart open ai now i'm creating a chain so what are all the arguments the, this particular template takes context and question so first we need to pass those context is nothing but the retriever which we have here that's it and the question we are passing a runnable password that means we are saying right we'll pass it at the runtime and then this output will be passed to the prompt because prompt needs these two information that's it the, the prompt output will be passed to the model and then we are passing the output 
and chain dot invoke we can ask any question explain three pointers about budget so it has literally three points so this is how the basic rag works so now we'll see how we can manipulate this retriever and control the response which we get from the retriever instead of just using the similarity search like above similarity search or similarity search by vector where we don't have the much scope to control the response we get from the vector db so uh, as you can see this text it says like by default when you retrieve from uh, when you ask any query to this retriever it by default use similarity search but we can use mmm as well mmm is nothing but maximum marginal relevant search you can use this type l but you just have to pass this parameter search type equal to mmr if you don't mention this it will use similarity search by default and we can just use this retriever dot query of so like this we can even change the search type as well while we are querying the uh, vector db so what is the difference between similarity search and mmr so the similarity search will just retrieve those with the highest similarity score that's it but in mmr it prioritizes those that are distinct from already selected items so for suppose there are two documents in our vector database which has the similar meaning and if we use a similar research it returns both the both the results but if you go with mmr it will as the both have the similar meaning it will do the distinct and return only the one result out of those two so that's the major difference between similar to search and mmr and we can even have this option like where we can control the search type as similar to search threshold and we can pass the threshold as well so if it matches the threshold of greater than 0.6 then only return the result or it don't result the role return the result so that's one of one way and also we can even use this option like we can control how many re results it has to return so if search quarks k equal to 1 means it returns only one 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 document highest uh, threshold document that's it and the next is multi query retriever in the real time not everyone will ask the similar kind of question the context may be the same but they might ask the same question different different ways so might be our documents or the vector db doesn't understand each and every uh, context so in that case we can go with the multi query retriever class in langchain what it does is it uses the llm and asks the different kinds of questions the same question in different ways if you see instead of relying on a single interpretation of the user query the multi query retriever creates multiple versions of the query with the help of the large language model so the, for the same query it asks in the different ways and fetches the results which matches all the queries which llm has created so if you see we just have an llm and we are using the multi query retriever from the lang chain dot from llm we need to pass the retriever inside and llm here and now if we ask a retriever from llm dot invoke of query this llm will create a similar queries like the query which we have asked and fetches the results which matches all the queries which llm has created that's it so we got all this now we can pass this response to the llm and get the precise output for the query which we have asked this is one option and the next one is contextual compression retriever so what it says is instead of immediately returning the retrieved document as is you can compress them using the context of a given query so that only the relevant information is returned not the irrelevant information so to do this first we need to have the base retriever and then the document compressor document compressor will compress the response which we got from the retriever and make sure only the precise response is returned so there are four types of uh, contextual compression retriever here uh, like uh, each one has its own unique uh, features if you see llm chain extractor it pulls only the specific information that's it llm chain filter it filters the vector db based on the conditions llm list wise re rank so it ranks the response and returns the relevant ranks alone and the last one is like it just embeds and finds the uh, similarity search that's it so we are just using this method to print the response properly that's it it's just a python code so the first one is llm chain extractor it pulls only the specific information 
so we we have this class from langchain and it takes the llm as an argument because uh, it uses the llm to fetch only the specific information for the query we have passed so using this llm it avoids the unwanted information that's it so we have this contextual compression retriever class and inside which we need to pass both one is the retriever that is nothing but the retriever for our uh, db vector db and the second is a compressor and the compressor here is the llm chain extractor that's it now we can just pass the query using the invoke method to this variable compression retriever dot invoke of query that's it it prints so it return only the relevant information only and the next one is similar to above we have the llm chain filter it filters based on the condition so we just call it the similar way that's it the compressor here will be the filter and the retriever base retriever will be the retriever and we can use this to query dot invoke of query that's it similarly we have uh, llm list wise re-rank so what this list wise re-rank does is it reorders the items based on the relevance that's it so what all these classes are doing is they are just using the llm and trying to filter out the response are trying to get only the precise response that's it if it's the next is llm list wise re-rank it just reorders based on the relevance that's it so all the matching documents al alone will be fetched from the db the, this retriever will just fetch the only the matching documents and similarly we have embedding filter that's it this also does the same thing so here we need two things one is the retriever which we already have which retriever is kind of a database connection and the second is the compressor and for embedding filter we don't use the llm because it just uses the similarity search we have to just pass the threshold alone here that's it but for the above we have to use the llms using the help of the llm it is just fetching the precise results that's it so this is another technique using which we can control how the retriever will fetch only the in needed information from the database and the next is loss in the middle effect so what was happening is like many in the many rag applications the, in the database we have multiple documents so the documents on the top and the documents on the end are giving the high priority and the documents in the middle are not being given high priority so to handle that effect we have a technique called in langchain called loss in the middle effect where we shuffle the documents if you see here we have the bunch of text here and i'm instead of using the fasss or uh, uh, chroma i am just using in memory vector store here this class from langchain that's it the similarly this also stores the uh, documents in the vector format only that's it and here in this retriever when we query the middle documents are given very low priority so to handle that we have a class in langchain called long context reorder so when you do this and pass the documents to here it will just reorder all the documents if you see the output of above and here see the order is different so as it just reordered every time when you reorder it give importance to all the documents because not it's not the case that the so and so documents are only in the top and so and so documents are only in the end so we are as we are reordering it tries to read all the documents that's it so here we are just creating a template and then we are just using the chain and invoking it that's it so we got the response so the boston won the game by 20 points it was in the middle so it, i mean with this we can with this context we can see that it has it is even reading the middle documents also not just the documents on the top and the bottom so to handle the scenario where the middle documents in the db are given very low priority we use this technique to just reorder the documents that's it before passing it to the model so in rags we have a very common problem where when you split the documents into a small chunks we might lose the actual context of the data but when you split the document into the very long text for some of the queries which we ask it might return the irrelevant result as well so to handle those kind of two scenarios we have another class called parent document retriever so what it does is here we'll split the document so this parent splitter will split the chunk size of 2000 the child splitter will split with the chunk size of 400 and we are using chroma db here that's it and using open ai embedding and this vector store so what we are doing is inside this parent document driver we are passing this vector store which is the chroma db and we are passing both the splitters the child splitter and the parent splitter both and now when you do like this so this 
parent document retriever will have both the kind of uh, sp uh, data with the small things and the larger things so due to which when you ask a query it will avoid returning the irrelevant result because it has the smaller things and as it has a bigger things it will not skip out the information as well it returns the correct information i mean it will not miss out to return the some information it will return all the information because it has the bigger things as well so as it has the smaller things and bigger things it will always return the perfect results that's what we can say that's it and to this retriever we need to just add all the documents that's it and then we can use this uh, retriever dot invoke that's it and the next one is time weighted vector store retriever so what happens is uh, as we as we keep on increasing the documents in the db there can be a scenario where we might have to give less importance to the data or we might have to give even more importance to the old data uh, so to handle like more importance and the less importance to the data in the db we have the decay rate so what we do here is we have this class time weighted vector store retriever class where we need to pass this vector store vector store is nothing but the db connection here we are using the chroma db right so this db and the dbfs can also be called as a vector store because they are the databases where database is nothing but the vector store because it stores the data or the textual data in the vector format so in this class we need to pass this vector db as well as the decay rate decay rate low means it give very less importance to the old documents decay rate high means it gives very much importance to the old documents as well that's what we have so this retriever dot add documents we can just add the documents and retriever dot invoke we can just add the as the query whatever we have so if you see here with the low decay rate documents are remembered for the longer time meaning the older documents stay relevant and won't lose the importance quickly and with the high decay rate the documents will be forgotten faster making it uh, only the latest information or the latest documents giving the more priority that's it so this is the another technique using which we can control the retriever as well these are all the few retriever techniques which we can use while applying the rag so these are all the few retriever techniques which we can use in rag using the lang chain that's it thank you so much for watching